Hello folks, Jason Crispin here at JC's Bees. I wanted to take a couple minutes and uh, show you a couple of the cardboard nukes on the market today. Let's start off with the waxed cardboard nuke. The cardboard of this nuke has been soaked in wax and therefore rain does not penetrate it. Simply runs off. You can set bees in this, leave it out in the weather, and the bees do fine. Because of the wax coating, the rain is not able to penetrate through the box. Um, this is a very nice box for that reason. The one thing I do not like about the box is the lack of ventilation. You can see we've simply just got a few holes drilled in the box on the front and it's got a few in the back. We open up the inside of the box. This is what the inside looks like. This would be your frame rest on both ends. This flap bends down. And that is your frame rest. Um, very nice boxes, just simply for the fact that you can leave them out in the weather. Um, the one thing I do not particularly like about this box is it does seem to need some staples or, or something to help hold it together. The folds and the locks on the box aren't enough to keep it together. You can actually notice here on the lid, I've got a screw ran into it to keep the flap held together. Um, this is more of the style that you'll see uh, beekeepers use in the early spring to make their nukes that they're going to sell. Um, simply for the reason that they can leave it out in the weather. Um, and when it comes time for the customer to come pick it up, they're not giving away a wooden box. So, there you go. I think this is what Man Lake sells. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's where this style is from. Now what I have here is something I just recently discovered. Um, I'm not sure who, who makes these. Um, if somebody knows, please let me know. This cardboard is not soaked in wax and therefore cannot be left out in the weather. This nuke is more for a person like myself that sells nukes. Um, say I set my nukes up in the early spring to sell, uh, make my splits, um, give them their queens. Once the nuke is uh, busting out of the seams and the queen's laying, there's brood and it's ready for the customer to come pick up, I'll transfer them from the wooden nuke box over to the cardboard box the night before and the customer can take this home and not my wooden box. Now one thing I really really like about this is the added ventilation. Um, you know when the customer takes these bees home, we will tape the entrances shut on either box. And I want to mention too that that one actually has a yellow plug that you can shove in the hole for like an extra 50 cents or something. Um, I just use Gorilla Tape, makes more sense to me, but if you want to buy the plug, they do make a plug. Um, on this one, you can see you just got a cardboard flap that you flip up, and then I put tape over that. Um, the ventilation is on both ends. Well, if you can get to it. And there's also an entrance on both ends, but this side I did not open. On the inside of the box, one of the big things I like is the frame rest. You can see it's got fingers to help hold the frames in their position. I like that for transporting the bees. That keeps the frames from sliding back and forth and maybe risking crushing the queen. Um, you know, I'm in the business of selling nukes to make people happy. I want them to uh, take their bees home. I want them to do well. I do not want a customer calling me saying, hey, my queen was squashed on the way home or um, my bees overheated on the two hour ride home. So, you know, I tried to look for uh, products that are gonna help make things go well in the long run and this one does a great job the problem is is I can't leave it out in the weather so what I'm going to do right now is I'd like to show you how to assemble one of these cardboard boxes it's pretty simple and the one thing I guess I didn't mention is this here box actually has an inner cover put the inner cover on and the lid so let me show you how to assemble one um, it's kind of difficult when you first get them, you look at it and think, boy, how do I do all this? But after you do one or two of them, it comes pretty naturally.
Okay, we'll start with the box itself. First thing you want to do is uh, work all of the corners on the cardboard. You want to pull this flap back and forth. You want to do the sides back and forth. Help break them seams in and uh, you'll have more crisp corners that way. And the first thing you do is you push in, push in the uh, solid bottom. Next goes the half bottom. And then the solid bottom again, you flip it up. And you put a couple pieces of tape on it. I'm a big fan of this Gorilla Tape. So that's what I'm gonna use. I don't want the bees getting out and the customer calling me saying, hey, we got the crap stung out of us on the way home. So there you go. There's the box itself, done. We'll set that off to the side. Here's the inner cover. It's pretty simple. Remember, you get them crisp corners by working it a couple times, back and forth. There you go, that's done. Shove that out of the way. Okay, here's our outer lid. We're gonna fold in the sides, work them back and forth. Or the ends, this would be the side, right here. Okay, now this right here, there's two lips right here, two seams, there's one of them. And then the next one's about a quarter inch from that one. Kind of got to use your fingertips and shove down in there. Now this one here, I don't really worry about folding both ways. We're going to do it again here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is two lines running down through there about a quarter inch apart. Those lines mark where it should be folded. Okay, come a quarter inch from that. Give it another good fold. Okay, now we're going to flip in this little tab on both ends. We're going to flip this up and then we're going to throw it all the way over until it locks into those holes. We'll do it again here. Fold in the flaps, fold it over, squeeze it in until it locks. There's your louder outer lid. Okay. Here's the ends that hold the frames with the fingers. And what we're gonna do now is lay it over, figure out where I need to cut it. Okay, so you want to make sure you line up your fingers here at the top. Once they're lined up, press down on this to make sure it's nice and flat. And then what I do is I take this piece of tape, I put it here, fold it over, and that's done. Do the same thing here, and I fold it over, we're going to line up our fingers at the top, press this down, and we're going to tape it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop open one end, pop out the ventilation, and we're going to drop this down in there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other end. You've got your inner cover. Got your outer cover.
You've got a ventilated nuke box. <laughs>